Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Okay, so a lot of people are on this whole sourdough kick trend. And I have wanted to try, I make homemade breads and I make homemade cinnamon rolls and cakes and everything else. I've been wanting to try the sourdough for so, so long. So I've been told there's so many ways that you have to do it. And there's so much, you have to use filtered water and non-filtered water and everything else. So I've also been told that you don't have to. You can use tap water, you can use regular all-purpose flour. So what I'm gonna do is I have a jar, let me show you, Ugh, sorry. Okay, I have my jar and I have my rubber band ready. What I'm gonna do is, and this is a pretty decent sized jar, I wanna do quite a bit so that way when I do like the discard it says, um, I'll still have quite a bit left. I'm gonna start it in this jar. Now, I'm gonna do this process with you guys. I am going to use all-purpose flour. Oh, my eye. I'm going to use all-purpose flour and I am going to use tap water. We're gonna see how this works out. I've never done this before, but I figured since everybody's doing it, I also wanted to try it because I know it's so much more better for you. You can make rolls or cinnamon rolls or biscuits. You can make anything you want with it. So we constantly go through bread and so I'm going to try it. So let me gather up the supplies and then we will get started. Okay, so what it says to do is you're going to put flour in here and then you're going to put water. And I'm going to go by one rule of thumb and they said do not use a metal um, utensil to stir it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a glass jar like recommended with a top so that I can just loosely close it so that way it has a little bit of escape room for the air. And I'm going to so that the glass and then I'm gonna use a silicone thing. I'm trying, the lighting in here is not the best, but we're gonna try this. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put my flour in here without making a mess. I'm gonna try, that's one. Two, I think I'll do about three. I'm gonna do three cups and then I'm, this is like warm water. It's not hot, but it is warm. So I'm gonna dump this in and I'm gonna make, they, they said like a pancake to a biscuit batter. And that looks like it needs more water, so I'm gonna add more water. Okay. Make sure you scrape your sides. I don't know if you can see in there so far, but I'm gonna add a little tiny bit more water. And like I said, scrape your sides. Let's see. I'm trying to scrape all the sides down. I think I need a little tiny bit more water. Now some people add a little tiny bit of sugar to feed it. Um, and some people say you can add a little bit of honey. This is starting to look more so like pancake or muffin batter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Scrape the sides down. Okay. 
Right. And we're supposed to leave it in here and we're supposed to come back and discard half of it tomorrow and then continue until it starts to, I guess you can say like ferment. But I have a very big jar here, as you can see. So I'm gonna move my rubber band up. I wanted to make quite a bit because I wanna use this. Oh, my rubber band broke. <laughs> okay, well, that was a turn of events. Um, I, oh, I found another one. Hello. Okay, so Bella found some more rubber bands. So I am going to put this rubber band to where it's at, right here. And we are going to measure and then I'm gonna close it loosely. I'm not gonna tighten it, but I am gonna put this on there and just close it loosely. And as you can see, this is how much it is and we're gonna see how much it grows all right it is day three and yesterday it completely overflowed as you can tell um i think it now i kind of shook it down a little bit and scooped it pushed it down um it did fall down a little bit let's take a peek inside this is how it's looking. It does have a certain smell to it, um, but it did fall down a little bit. I think it has a little bit of the hooch, I believe it's called, in here. So I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna discard about half of this, and then we will add in a little bit more. Thank you for helping. All right, friends, so it has quite a bit of the hooch on top. I'm gonna see if I can get some of it out of here. Um, yeah, it's got quite a bit in here. I'm gonna see if I can discard most of it. Can you help me push in the arms? Say push. Push. Okay, let's see. It definitely has that sourdough smell to it. Thank you so much for helping me. I'm so happy. He's so happy. Okay, so let me just mix it up a little bit. And I'm happy too. Definitely have a, has that sour, sourdough smell. So, I found this new thing here and I'm gonna transfer it into this because it's bigger um, in hopes that it doesn't overflow as much. Um, and we will see what happens in the end. But today is day three. Oops, I'm getting it everywhere. So, I'm just going to transfer half of it in there. Let's see if that's about half, or maybe a little bit more. Okay. That should be about half. Okay, man, I'm trying to gauge it. Okay, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna just toss the rest of this because it definitely, um, I don't know if I wanna use that yet. They say don't give up on it because of the smell and I'm trying not to, I'm not used to the smell. Definitely has a sourdough smell to it. So I'm going to, let me turn my tap water on so it can start to heat up. I'm going to add about the same amount of flour in there as there is this one. And then I'm gonna add water. So let me grab my flour. Eventually, I'm hoping that I can get 
a container of this size, but we will see. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do about a cup and a half. That's what I've been doing is about a cup and a half. So I'm going to do another cup and a half. And then I'm going to do a cup and a half of water. And I've just been using tap water because, let me move this up. So I've been doing tap water because they said that that is what we can use. So they said tap water. So I will do a cup and a half of warmish tap water. I don't think mine has too much chlorine in it, so for that reason I'm gonna use, I don't wanna use it too hot. Okay, so let me do a cup and a half. Measure that out perfectly. They said equal parts, so that's about equal parts. So I'm gonna just add in a little at a time and then go from there. I'm making a mess. So let me mix this in. Let's see. It looks like it's already enough water in there as it is. I may need a little bit more water. It definitely, hi baby. It definitely has that smell. So I'm gonna scrape the sides down. Mix this, I'm gonna add a little bit more water in here. this in here. Can you see the little fingers? <laughs> and this is like a dough consistency. And we will come back. I'm probably going to feed it again later. Yeah, it definitely has that smell. I may not need all of the water. Okay. So, oops, I got something in there. So, I'm going to scrape down the sides. Let's see. And then I will mark it with my wet erase marker. So, let me get that. And then we will set it aside and we will see. All right, she is marked. Loosely leave it on. Not gonna suction it too much. And there you go. She's in there. Right, 
you guys. So we are attempting this again. It is day five. Um, this is my starter. And what this is my starter here. And what happened was it completely rose up. And then when I transferred it over here, it completely fell. Would not rise again. So I did go on to Facebook Marketplace and I purchased a starter that was in here and it was about 350 uh, grams of starter. I separated it into two. There was just a little tiny bit in here. Um, so I'm gonna see, cause I, I transferred all of it into here but whatever was left over in here, I kind of scraped down and added bread flour and distilled water to it. And then this one over here, I did the same thing. I completely added, you know, starter to it. I'm gonna give it four hours and I'm gonna see what happens. I'm still trying mine um, because I'm, I didn't use all purpose flour. I went to the store last night and I bought um, the bread flour and distilled water that I added to it instead of my all purpose flour, which is back here. Let me see if I can back you guys up a little bit. Um, but we are gonna see how this pans out, this pans out, and that one. These are on here very loosely. Um, as you can see, this is very loose. So I will let you guys know, and then hopefully we can start making some bread tonight. So I'll keep you posted. I completely forgot to let you guys know what time it is. It is 11.13 right now, we'll say 11.15. Um, and we are going to get this started right now. So we'll come back in a couple hours. I wanted to make sure that I let you guys know what time it was. Oh, and another thing, I did completely wash this and scrub this out. So it was completely cleaned from my starter, my other half of the starter that I had in here. I wanted to make sure I had a clean vessel to put it in. So it is completely cleaned out. Let me see if I can level out my camera so you guys can actually see. Um, this is actually where it's at the line. It looks like there's a little bit more in here, but that's just because of stuff that's scraped on top. But other than that, we will be back in a little while and I'll show you. All right, you guys, so it is 2.26. Started this at 11.13. And I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on how things are progressing. This one, mine has not moved at all. This one has not moved at all. But then again, there was like maybe a half a tablespoon in there. So I think I'm gonna let this one go a little longer. And then this one has doubled in size, but I'm gonna wait till it gets about there before I make another loaf. So I'm probably gonna wait a little bit longer. It smells beautiful. Definitely has that smell to it. But as I said, mine still isn't doing anything. And then this one hasn't done anything. Um, and this is the one that is doing something. So I took the lid off of it. I did have this lid over here on it. Don't mind the garbage. I did have this lid on it, but it sits on it very, very loosely. So I'm not really sure why it wasn't rising as much. Um, but I just put a napkin on there with a rubber band and we will see what the magic does in just a little while. But again, for reference, I started this at 11, uh, 13, I say when I looked at the time and it is now 227. So it's doubled in size and that amount of hours and we're gonna give it some more time. I will be back to show you guys the difference. There they are, friends. Lucy and Betty are doing beautiful. Can't wait for more. Don't forget to like and subscribe because we have so many more videos coming out. And don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss anything. You can share our videos too. Bye-bye.